Top of the morning to you laddies, my name is Jack Septicai, and I think you know what this video is gonna be about. That's right, I got a new haircut! No, but seriously, the channel just hit 200,000 subscribers. Well, actually, it hit it earlier, it's actually at 201,000 subscribers now, and... Holy nerds! That is insane. Considering it took the channel, like, from September to about February or March to get to 100,000, and then almost... Just over a month later, it got to 200,000. I... I don't know how. I don't know what's going on. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Just thank you, thank you, every single one of you for being on my channel, for subscribing, for watching, for liking, anything that you've done towards the channel. Just thank you so much. Even the people who have hated me on YouTube. Thank you for at least coming to the video and checking me out. And, it, like, steering me in the right direction. A lot of people may just hate me for no reason at all, but it does help. It does get me away from some of the bad habits I might have in my videos, and it just really tries to propel me forward and make me a better person here on YouTube. A lot of people always say they have the best fans in the world, but I really mean it. You guys really are the best. I couldn't ask for a better fan base. I, I don't even like saying that, better fan base. It makes me sound more important than I am, but just, you guys are incredible. The best viewers anyone could ever ask for. You guys are always in the comments saying super nice things to me, and you're always like, just as crazy as I am, shouting boss all over the place, and just coming up with the craziest things to say. And I love it. It's incredible. It's such a good feeling to see so many people enjoying the content that I make, and just all interacting with each other and being super nice to each other. It's, it's just great. This channel is actually literally one of the fastest growing new channels on YouTube for 2014. We've gained like 140 to 160,000 subscribers already in this year alone, and it's only April. This is going to be a terrific year for this channel, and I really think it's going to be one of the best years of my life, because you guys are changing everything about it. I keep saying it in like all these vlogs, but you really are. You guys have helped me to consider moving after I finish college. I've never been able to move before in my life, and just get out there and be on my own and do this full time. To do this as a job. I, I'm, I don't mean it's great to be able to like get money from YouTube or anything like that. It's great to be able to come home. Well, not even come home. It's great to be able to wake up in the mornings and be able to do this as a job. To be able to sit down and interact with you guys. Make videos that I really enjoy making. That I can make the best possible. Being able to do this as a job means I can stay at home and work on it all day, every day, to improve my editing skills, to try and make the best videos possible, to keep my uploads consistent, to keep them frequent as well, it's just, oh, it's so good, it's my dream job, it's the best thing in the world. I've had people all week and all today thanking me for my videos and congratulating me on hitting 200,000 subscribers, but no! Don't thank me, I should be thanking you guys, you're the ones, you're the subscriber count. You're the ones who that is representing. The 200,000 subscribers are you, not me. I didn't do anything. I'm just sitting here every day screaming into a computer screen. All day, every day, just playing games. Um, this is all you guys. This is your win, not mine. This is the channel's win. Everything about this is all because of you, and congratulations to you guys. You're the ones that are making one of the best channels and one of the best communities on YouTube right now, and that is something to be incredibly proud of. I've always said when I was making YouTube videos that I want to bring people together in one place and just share joy, share happiness, bring entertainment to people, make them smile, make them laugh, and just interact with people, help other people meet newer people, help people through hard times in their lives. And one of the nicest things I ever hear when I'm doing this is people saying, Jack, I had a really shitty day and you really helped me through it. And that just warms my heart. Because <laughs> that's one of the greatest feelings in the world, to hear stuff like that. I have heard people say, Jack, I used to have suicidal thoughts and you have helped me through it. You have helped me get through it and be happy. And just by answering people like that, by replying to their messages, you just uplift them in a way that I have never been able to do before in my life. And it's the best feeling in the world. But seriously, none of this would be happening if it wasn't for you guys. I would have given up a long time ago if you guys weren't here. If if I didn't know that somebody was there on the far side watching the videos. Because you guys have helped me through hard times as well. When I didn't know what my future could be. And now it's crystal clear in my head 
what is going to happen after I finish college, and that's all because of you. But enough of the sappy stuff, on to what the video is actually going to be about. I thought it'd be a good idea, somebody actually gave me the idea, it's not even my idea, in the comments to react to some of my own videos. And I thought that that was a great idea. I haven't seen a lot of YouTubers actually do this, I've seen them put up their older videos and then like talk about how far they've come. But I haven't seen any of them actually sit down and watch some of their older videos and see the reaction on their face as they're going through it. And I thought that was a really nice idea for this subscriber count. So I, I did that earlier and I'm kind of doing the intro now um, to fill the video back up. So I hope you guys enjoy. I, I reacted to some of my older videos because I wanted to see the change I've gone through. Because I haven't watched them in a long time either. So I want to see how I've gone from the start right up to where I am now and see the changes that happened in my comment commentating style. So, have at it! Enjoy! Okay, the first video I'm gonna watch is actually my Far Cry 3 longest and... longest and highest wingsuit flight possible. It was the video that I did way back when Far Cry 3 actually came out and it was the first video that actually got any recognition on the channel. It got up to like 100,000 views and that was insane to me at the time. Back then I was so super happy. And I was also kind of disappointed because it was one of my worser videos. I didn't really like it at all, so let's watch it. Hey guys, what is going on? Today I'm going to bring you another wingsuit video. Oh, I hate it already! <laughs> oh, that was like my old intro! Hey guys, what is going on? I was trying to be all cool when I did it. Oh, and I'm bringing you another. Oh, I hate... I don't like when YouTubers use that, and I say it a lot myself as well. I'm bringing you another. Like I like I was making videos all the time back then. I, I had like four videos up at that stage. From what I believe to be the highest point on the map in Far Cry 3. Down here you see a little cross. Hello cross. Oh! I remember when I made this video! I actually recorded the gameplay and then I did the voice over it afterwards. And I tried to make it seem like it was all done live. I know, I kind of lied a little bit, but oh, I only have to remember that now. That's why there's a lot of, like, in-between time where I'm not saying stuff. Like, oh, there's a little cross down there. Hello, cross. Because I was trying to fill the space instead of having it all blank. I had it all planned out in my head when I was recording it, and then I did the voice after. Don't you guys get a love glider. how Whoa, enthusiastic I sound? Yeah. How much energy I like have? So how much enthusiasm I, to come I have? Here and I, I'm try and so fly boring to, to listen to! How did anybody area? watch this, this video? First place but after you get the oh wingsuit it's God, kind of obvious so where it is boring. it's the highest place so you guys can see can if any of you are making videos kind of and you think hey my commentary is kind of boring like mountains. how can i change that it does get now better you can see my this video yet. is terrible i should probably come back and do that please let me know and i will gladly record another video how did video i end my videos back there so that's it thanks for watching everyone and i will catch you all later Hey guys, I will catch you all later. That, that's what I said. I will catch you all later. Oh man, I was just fucking cool as school back then, wasn't I? Okay, the next video I'm actually gonna watch is Jeff the Killer. It was one of the earlier horror games that I did. I really like this game actually, because it had it just had jump scare after jump scare after jump scare. But this is the first time that Top of the Morning to you laddies was actually said in any of my videos. This is the video where I sat down and I said, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just Go at YouTube full throttle. And this was really where everything started. This, I, I kind of tried to copy Markiplier back then because he was doing a lot of horror games and I thought, hey, horror games, I want to do them. And I really like overreacted when I was doing them. I, I could admit now that it was overreacting because I could think back on some of them, how I was trying a little too hard and that's probably why they didn't take off because I wasn't being myself. Um, so let's just watch. Top of the morning to you laddies. My name is Jack Jacksepticeye and welcome to Jeff the Killer. Seen this oh, game around? I changed my voice. Times. I haven't actually seen a lot of gameplay. I didn't talk in my normal talking voice. Quite known. I, I tried to make it a bit deeper. Here. Everyone kind of knows that if you're on forums and I don't or have internet or this stuff up. Any length of time. I don't have any of that stuff up behind and me so I you can hear how echoey it is. It's really scary. All jump scares and everything. So I'm gonna play it. Kind of want to give it a go. Because I like this picture. Oh, what was that? Hell. So, what was that? Kind of want to give it a go. <laughs> Top of the morning to you laddies. <laughs> My name is Jack Septiguy and welcome. The video didn't work. I did my intro.
intro! Oh, I did my intro and then I forgot that I didn't turn off this light! And I just started doing the intro again! Oh, Jack, you fucking idiot! What was that? Let's see how I actually commentated when oh, I was playing. Oh, why is it enter? What do I do in this game, exactly, by the way? Okay, I'm kind of normalized when I'm playing. Do I have a flashlight? Ha <laughs> Holy balls! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Holy <laughs> fuck! Okay, that's oh. not- Okay! That wasn't like fake. That. And that's the way it is. Run DMC oh. reference. Oh! R key requ requires a key to open. Okay. That wasn't overreacted oh, either. That wasn't oh, fake. That was my actual reaction when Thank I did God that because I, I wasn't expecting a jump scare. Right Jesus, at the start. Holy crap! And I said heart conditions instead of heart key conditions. Around. Instead of oh, in I'm my normal breath. accent. There is like something in the wall. That's a hand with a handsaw. <laughs> it's definitely a handsaw now. <laughs> Oh! Where Even the back then, I had jokes for days. God, is that what kind of game it's gonna be? But thank you, dudes! And I will see all you guys in the next video. Oh! My- my intro, or my outro was kind of the same. Except that picture is horrible. That was back when I was doing only horror games, so I kind of wanted to have a horror game background. Okay, we do another horror game. This one's The Curse of Blackwater. This was a Turn really good game. My name is Jack Septicai and What was that? Tell me the morning to you ladies. Say it right, you knob. Come. Ease. Our work is not for the faint of heart. Nope. It's not for the haint of fart either. <laughs> I switched the letters around. I made a funny. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Jack. Your directions to go first. Ah, uh, you just want people to like I, you, don't you? I... Oh my fucking holy Jesus, she's right there. <gasps> I got goosebumps already. She breathed really heavily. Oh my god, that is a good scare. I'm gone. And it just it works so perfectly the next few seconds. Scared Fuck you, the, little girl. Scared the shit out of me. Is she still there? She has her arms outstretched. No! No, 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 what, what, what? What a fucking crap. scary what do I do? What shit, do I do? dude! Oh, I gotta go back and go upstairs! Fucking hell! Cause she just stands there! Looking she at there? you for a few seconds and her. then please she no, moves! Please god no, please holy shit no! It wasn't like a jump scare where- no! As soon as you looked at her, she like came at you and then she just stops. Holy, holy crap! Okay, I'll just do one more video. And I- I'm recording this in like Windows Media Player because I don't know how else to do this. I'm just recording my screen with my capture card. I could sync up the videos that I have on my computer, but it'll probably take me all day to do that, so I'm just gonna do it this way. Little Inferno! My favorite playthrough that I've ever done on the channel. I- probably exaggerating that a small bit, but I really, really enjoyed this playthrough. It was the first one that I did that everyone else started to really enjoy as well, and I got a lot of people to realize what Little Inferno was from people who actually hadn't heard of it before, and the ending to Little Inferno is just great. I really like this game. I really enjoy playing it. Top of the morning to you, laddies! My name is Jack Septiguy. And welcome to a game from the Tomorrow Corporation called... Oh yeah, I'd, I had recorded this like four Little times. Little Inferno! This and I said that every single time I played a part of it. That I, I said it like that. How annoying was I? I, tried it out I sounded like Oprah giving it away like gifts. It actually wasn't bad at commentating back then. I got a bit more confident. Into nothing. That is so damn cool. See these terms and conditions? I'm yeah. Fuck yo terms and conditions. I just burn them all up. Yeah. I gotta be light. I'm kind of the same now Dude, no as sense. I was when I did this video. Maybe that's why people liked it so much. Because I was, I was kind of being myself a bit more instead of trying to be something else. Funny. Oh, and the catalog music. Buy stuff in here. So we're gonna buy I love the catalog music in Little Inferno. But yeah, when I recorded this, it was like my fourth time to do it, because every time I did it, I think something went wrong with my capture card, it didn't record the audio or something. Or it like cut out when I was recording, so I had to do it four times. I was so pissed off, and Little Inferno just picked me back up. It was one of the things I liked to do when I was recording videos, is to give, give characters names and give them voices if they didn't have any. It was the same when I recorded Mad Father. I, I gave all the characters names as well. Or not names, I gave them voices. And it kind of individualizes the gameplay on my channel. It makes it feel a bit better. I'd like to think that every time 
people saw sugar plums after they watched this that they kind of heard a Russian accent whenever they read her voice. It was that kind of stuff. I tried to give more life to the characters of the game. I don't know if it worked, but it was something that kept the playthroughs fun for me and kind of, like I said, made them a bit more unique to my channel. So it's like when I do Happy Wheels, I know the characters have real names. It's like Wheelchair Guy and Timmy is a little boy, but I like to call them Billy, Betty, Willie. So like when other people see them, they might call them that as well to try and individualize the game to me because other people are doing Happy Wheels all the time so and some people do voices for the characters So I just like to give them names which kind of makes me stand out. I don't know It's just it's something I try to do and I'm not sure if it works or not. Wow a lot has changed since I've started making videos I one thing I noticed is that I talk a lot more confidently. I talk more clearly. I just I ramble on a lot, and I'm a lot more myself. When I was doing it before, I put on, I think, one of my things was, Hello, all you beautiful people out there. That was my intro for a long time. And I did that kind of voice. I sounded like a pirate. And it, it just wasn't me. I was trying to do something that I wasn't. And it was when I relaxed back into my own personality and doing, talking the way I am now, just being myself, that stuff started to accelerate and get a lot better. So... Yeah, just be yourself on YouTube. Thank you guys all again. I, if you guys weren't here on the channel right now, the way the channel is, I don't even think without some of the stuff that's happened that the channel would have even gotten past 10,000 subscribers. I don't think it would even be at that point right now if I hadn't like got the shout out from PewDiePie or if more people hadn't started coming in, if it all didn't just snowball from there. I don't think I'd still be doing YouTube if I didn't get to that level because it comes to a point where you're putting in so much effort, if you're not really seeing it pay off, you just kind of give up. I'd probably still be doing videos, just not every single day the way I'm doing them now, so... Thank you guys so much. You've changed absolutely everything about my life. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, and thank you guys so much for 200,000 subscribers! If you like the video, punch that like button in the face like a boss! And high fives all round. Whoosh, whoosh. Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! One on the right is a different monitor. It's actually a faster monitor, so it has higher refresh rate. So this one has better picture, but this one is a lot smoother. It's a lot faster. So I use them for two different types of gaming. This is usually my competitive.